Hello everybody, this is Tanya from ScrappingKentuckyMama.blogspot.com and I am here to show you how to make the cake that I did for Kimmy's 28 Candle blog, um, blog Hop that was done this weekend. There was a lot of comments left on my blog about how to do it. It is so super simple that I am not even going to go into extreme detail because there really is none. Um, there's my um, blog address and there's the cake. You all remember the cake, right? Okay, let's get to the nitty-gritty. This is so simple, easy. Okay, ready for this? Let's move this out of the way. What you need, each layer contains a piece of 12 by 12 paper, and that's what this is. This is just a piece of 12 by 12 paper, and I cut it into 4 inch widths. So each of these is 4 by 12, okay? And then you go on each piece, and you score it every quarter of an inch. And then after you score it, you do the whole fold down, fold up thing. You know what I mean? Okay, fold it, flip it over, fold it on the line, flip it over, flip it over. Easy peasy, right? Flip it over. Okay, and that's what you're kind of going with. And when you're done with that, it'll end up looking like this. You want to make sure that your pieces are, are pushed tight together. So once you do each piece, kind of push them together okay so there you have it there's a piece and you do this for every piece on the cake these three are four inches so once it's put together it will make the eight inch cake okay oh, poopy. Oh, poopy. this is what you will have let me take this layer off for this one uh, I was trying to make it easier so it wasn't going to take up a lot of time. So that's what you have. Okay, push it all together, and it will be eight inches from one side to the other. Okay, so from this side to this side will be eight inches. You can make it three inches, and then each layer goes smaller than that. It's totally up to you. And then what I did was I used a three-inch circle, and I put some um, the red double-sided tape on it and stuck it on there to just kind of keep it together. And then I poked a hole in the center. My center is like jacked up now since I took it off. Um, but you poked a hole in the center. And each layer can be as many pieces as you want. The cake that's on my blog has four pieces. Now when you get to the part where you put the pieces together, that's the tricky part. Um, only because you don't want... This is the part that you really need to pay attention to. Um, because this is, I don't know, it just won't lay right if you don't, if you don't, if you fold it wrong. You don't put the two, don't put this end with that end. Because then what you have is it sticks up like that. You see how it would be sticking up? And it will, it's not going to lay straight. What you want to do is lay them in each other so that the folds go and you can't see where the fold is. Make sense? Okay. So there you have that. And then once you have all your pieces together, it'll be a long train, of course. Let's go ahead and take this guy off of here. Take him off. You have your long train, and then you put you glue the two ends together, and then you have this flimsy thing, okay? And lay it down, push it all together, squeeze it together, get your little piece of paper. It doesn't have to be any fancy piece of paper because nobody's going to see it. And you put it in the center. There you go. What I like to do is use a paper piercer and pierce a hole in the center so I know where my stick's going to go. And you do that for all the layers that you're going to have. So this one right here, this is a 4 inch width. The next width on, on the one that I made was 3 inches and then 2 inches. Um, I find it's easier that way to do a whole number, but you can do, you know, start off with a 3 and a half inch, then do a 3 inch, whatever your heart desires. Um, I only did 3 layers. So this was a 4 inch layer. 3 inch layer and 2 inch layer, so meaning 2 inches wide. The paper was 2 inches by 12 inches. And then after I did that on each layer, except for the bottom layer, you don't want to do the bottom layer, um, once you have the piece of paper on there, you know your circle, then I use some 3, and I like the thick glue dots, um, pop dots, because it adds a little room in between. So you take your pop dots, stick it on there, and you stick it over top of your layer. And make sure you um, start with the top layer first when you're doing it. So then you can make the holes 
feet even. And the bottom, this is just a lollipop stick. Easy peasy lollipop stick. This is just two circle punches, and I use the Just Right Stamper to stamp that with the, the you know, the little thing in the bobber. This is the Just Right Stamper. I haven't used it in like probably two years now. Anyways, so then you go and you put this guy inside of this guy, and then voila. Um, I like to tape the bottom around the bottom. You don't have to though. And that's what you have. This, there's no right or wrong to this little project. Um, you don't even have to even fold them perfectly. You know, you don't have to have perfect folds. Just so long as they're tight folds, because when you put this, when you put it together, once you have all these little accordion pieces, and once you put all the accordion pieces together, and you do the circle part, it's easier if they're tighter than it is if they're looser. You could even use your edge trimmer and um, you know punch you know some, put a little edge around it if you want. Um, I recommend if you use something like a scallop, um, only do the um, the what do you call it? Only score it wherever the. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, we're just going to do this one really fast. Okay, if you're going to use like this kind of trimmer, edger, whatever you're going to call it, when you emboss or when you um, do your thing in the bobber, I know I'm full of all this technical terms in it. <laughs> I would say to only when you score it, score it where the lines are for your. Um, don't do it every quarter of an inch like I said to begin with. If, you, if you're going to do it something like this. Okay, let me see where I can get close where you can see it. You want to just score in the middle where that is. You see what I mean? So you would score right there. You would score right there. You would score right there. Okay, make sense? Okay. So that's one of the options that you could do to dress it up a little bit more. Um, this is really the easiest project I think I've done. Um, the popsicle stick on the top, it's two pieces. I used a, um, two pop dots in between and I roll the red tape around the popsicle stick so it actually sticks and it's not just sitting between the two thingamabobbers. Yeah, thingamabobbers. I live in Kentucky. I can say it how I want to. And see, if you don't have the glue on very good or it's not taped very well, it'll... Ah! Oh, I lost you. Oh no! It'll start coming off. The magic of live TV, right? Okay, that should be in like a bloopers or something, but I'm not an editing queen, so yeah, I'm not editing. You get it straight up how it, how it comes. Okay. So let's fix this baby back up. Okay, that baby is put back. Okay, there's these things called gloopers or glubbers or whatever it's called that would be perfect for this. Um, Although I've heard they're kind of pricey. I'm not really sure. I've not looked into them. So, there you have it. This is the bottom piece. No pop dots. Second has pop dots. Top has pop dots. And you can make as many layers as you want. And it's just all about scoring paper. That's all it is. Scoring and folding. Scoring and folding. Scoring and folding. So, I hope this um, helped you out a little bit. And you might be able to make one. I would really like to see. Um, leave me a message on my blog if you do make one. I'd love to see them. And thank you again for visiting my blog. And if you need anything or have any ideas for something and you want somebody to try it out, just let me know. I like trying new things. Thanks again for coming and um, see you guys again. Bye.